welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. Welcome back. So we are today going to discuss about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So are you ready for that? So let's begin. This is uh, the question. You have to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. And firstly, remember, you can find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for only square matrix, okay, or of order 2 by 2, 3 by 3, as you know what a square matrix is. So how can you find out? Firstly, uh, there is a characteristic equation for eigenvalues. It is A minus lambda i determinant comes out to be 0, okay. Now you have, your first ask is you have to find out the value of lambda. How can you evaluate it? Just substitute this matrix, let us suppose, as A. You have to just substitute the value of A in, in, into it. So what will be formed? 5, 4, 1, 2. This is matrix A minus lambda I. I is the identity matrix of order same as the given matrix, which is of order 2 by 2. There are 2 rows and 2 columns. So you have to take identity matrix of 2 by 2 order. This is how we have to find out. Now evaluate it. 5, 4, 1, 2 minus lambda, lambda 0, 0. So this will turn out into 5 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda and this will become same. 1, 4, okay. Now this, this matrix, you have to evaluate the determinant of this matrix. How can you find out? You have to just cross this and this, 5 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda, minus sign is in the formula to find out the determinant, 4 is a 4, 5 to the 10, 5 lambda, minus 2 lambda, plus, minus, minus, plus, lambda squared, minus 4. So, what do you find out is, minus 7 lambda, 10 minus 4, 6. This is your quadratic equation. Now, it's very simple to find out the lambda from it. What? you can do is you have to just try factorize this equation so six ones are six you have to split it and it will become six and one one lambda which comes out to be seven by adding and uh, the factors will become lambda minus six as zero and lambda minus one as zero so lambda becomes six and lambda becomes one so these are our two values two eigenvalues okay now, for finding, finding out the eigenvectors, what you have to do? You have to just put the value of lambda here. And your equation is this matrix multiply x. Uh, did you remember uh, what we have to do in finding out the inverse of a matrix? This equation is like this now. Ax is equal to b and x becomes a inverse b. Just like that. You have to just transform it into the variables x and y. So take characteristic equation, the value of matrix on that. And if it is 2 by 2 order, you have to take x, y in column matrix. Or if there are 3 by 3, there is 3 by 3 matrix, you have to take 3 variables x, y, z, okay? And you have to put it as 0. So a minus lambda, a is 5, a minus lambda I is, uh, is like this. You have to firstly, this is your a minus lambda, okay. This is your a minus lambda i and this is your x, y. Now, just put the values of lambda into uh, the corresponding equation. Firstly, if we put lambda as 6, 5 minus 6 comes out to be minus 1, 4, 1, 2 minus 6, minus 4. And this is x, y. So, Multiply it, first row, first column, minus x plus 4y, second row, first column, x minus 4y. These are both 0, these are a simple, same equation, so x is equal to 4y. And now, take 4 as denominator and 1 as its denominator, so your 4 and 1 are your eigenvectors. Similarly, you have to substitute lambda 1 as lambda and then brought out the eigenvectors. I hope you understand. This is the same way. If there is 3 by 3 matrix, just you have to do the same way. But uh, after putting 
all the values there is there will be formed a cubic equation okay and you know very well how you can solve your cubic equation there are three factors and you have to transformulate them into each and every equation you have three equations and three eigenvectors i hope you understand so see you soon and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you